Hey, Orange One here. So, uh, we have a very, very exciting thing for you. Um, we have 13 units of bird serum in a gallon jug and a syringe, which you know what that means. We're about to make Louis sing as a bird man. Um, I want you to use this item. So, if we do F, so this basically right now, let's just look at his mutations so you can see what he has. Um, he is also recovering. I think I showed you guys already that this he was hurt from like some surgery that we tried to have him do. But yeah, he's got a couple different mutants. Um, mutations, I think the beak one. And I don't know if Animal Discord is, is one that's contributing to him being a bird person. But in any case, let's go ahead and do it. So if I hit F and then I select the gallon jug. He says, I need a syringe. So, hey, okay, hold on to this item. I can give him said syringe. Now he's got that. And then I can be like, okay, why don't you take some serum? And then I look, look, he's got wing stubs. Um, and perceptive. Oh, wow, that was actually a really good round. And if you look off to the side here in the log, it tells you what he, he gained in terms of mutations. So I could do that individually, or I could just spam it. So I think F, capital V, F, capital V, F, capital V. And we're just going to go all the way down until we don't have any more left. Um, actually, can I just look at you now? You are actually a bird person. Uh... Got some pretty good traits there. I think you're fully developed if you've got the hummingbird beak. I don't want the woodpecker beak because that gives you more attacks, but I don't know if giving you more mutagen would um, actually do anything. So I'm actually just gonna exit out of this and look at the mutations that you've gained. Uh, how do I do the up and down in the log? It's not up page up and page down, no. Um, I know there is a way to do it, but I've forgotten. No. What is it? I need to know. Can I look at my controls here? And I want to look at something for the log, or like the combat, or whatever. Uh, not sure what it's going to be. I have no idea. I honestly have no idea what I'm looking for. Um, this is the problem with recording, is sometimes I'm like, oh god, what am I doing? Uh, ba -ba -ba. And then you get kind of flustered and you're like, oh god. I don't know <laughs> when I'll find this, if I'll find this. Uh, look at the sky is not bound. We could do that. That's actually kind of an interesting thing. I don't even know what key to bind that to, though. Um, oh, we could look at the scent map. That's kind of interesting. Temperature map, visibility map. Oh, wow. There's a lot of different maps that you can look at. I don't know if that's... I think that's new. Um, uh, yeah, I am not seeing what we need. Um, I'm just going to look for capital N to my right and see what minimizes the good thing. And I'm not seeing anything for capital N either. Or no, here we go. Toggle minimap. That's not what I'm looking for. Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think we're going to find anything there. Um, let's go ahead and give him a little bit more mutagen and see if it just kind of messes everything up or what. Uh, Yeah, he got the woodpecker beak. Nope, he got the hummingbird beak again. He got very perceptive. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, I think I might do that again and just kind of see how this goes for us. I think it's going pretty good. Uh, I mean, he did get extremely perspective. I feel like we're, oh, oh, hold on. I almost took that myself. I did not want to do that. Uh, F, there we go. Have a look. Okay, now he, what? 
He's got talons. Okay, well, he just destroyed his gloves. Well, he's got talons. That's kind of cool. Uh, and he just keeps on changing the beaks back and forth. And he's, again, got hummingbird beak. Okay, we're going to do the last one and see what we get. I do uh, want to do that. R, um, that was the wrong button. F. Here we go. The scout. Insanely perceptive. And he got the woodpecker beak. Oh, dude. I think that's it. I think that is our mutant right here. Um, can I look at you? Let's just have a look at our friend here. He has... Oh my gosh, look at his perception. 17. He's not nearly as dexterous as I thought he would be. He didn't actually get anything with dexterity in terms of mutations. That's kind of weird. Um... But he's got to be real good at seeing things. <laughs> we also need to feed him. I don't know how much he's going to want to eat right now, but I think we do need to feed him, and I have cooked some meals for him. Uh, but let's have a look at these mutations. Exploring new territory. Well, I don't think he even gets affected by morale. Kind of weak. Uh, that doesn't really affect him. That protects him a little bit from damage. Um, and he shouldn't fall, which I don't see when he ever would, so that's not going to be that useful. Yeah, that's going to be useful for melee. So is this. This is actually going to be really nice. It protects you against um, a lot of different damage. And then we've got feathers here. Again, a little bit more armor. Gizzard. Well, at least he'll get fed fast, right? Um, we gotta watch his head, though. If he gets hit in the head or the face, he could go down real quick. Distant sounds more easily. I don't think that's gonna be too great. Yeah, that perception, that is literally insane. It does not affect our dexterity. Interesting. Okay. Well, I am a little bit bummed about the fact that you're not wearing gloves. But I think we might be able to find something that accommodates mutated anatomy. If we can, we should get that on your hands, because if you get hit in the hands, it's not going to go well. Uh, light step, that's pretty good. Make it a little bit less quiet. I don't know, they, they must generate noise when they walk, right? Um, I don't know if that's going to be on by default or not. I don't know how to switch it, but... And I think you had quick beforehand, but I could be wrong. Okay, that does not help us at all. <laughs> Being self-aware... No, that doesn't help us, because we're not self-aware. He is. Um, that should help with his stanima, but I don't think they have stanima. Yeah, a lot of his mutations are not useful, but they are still cool. So his... He's got started recovery, left leg and then recovering is these other legs. I wonder if the mutations affect that at all. No, it doesn't really look like it. Why is that so much worse than the other ones? That's kind of weird. These are at 40 and that's only at 16. But well, it looks to me like his head health only goes up to 64 because I think it was higher than that and his torso was at 81 which sounds about right for what he was at beforehand. Um, yeah, we're gonna need to get him a ranged weapon. I'm thinking a bow or something. Not a bow, maybe a crossbow. Something that shoots fast and we can get, get ammo for pretty easily. Okay, anyways, we've been talking for a little while. Let's go ahead. I haven't even gone anywhere. Uh, let's go ahead and let's look at what I can give you to feed you. I feel kind of bad for him, if I'm completely honest with you. So... Because, I mean, we've... This guy's gone through a lot. <laughs> so he gets some good food. I hope you like meat. And you are a woodpecker now, so you probably hate it. And giving you rice... Doesn't rice make birds explode? Man, if that killed bird mutants eating rice items, I would be A, horrified, and B, in love with that. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> okay, so he ate all of that. 
I'm curious if he's gonna end up... Okay, he just went to sleep. Okay, well, he's asleep and he's had some food. He might be a little thirsty. We ourselves are probably um, a little hungry. Hamburger helper. What's rotten? Can I get the rotten items and just dump those? I thought I had done that, but maybe it looks like I've forgotten. The rotten. Oh wow, there's actually quite a bit of it that's rotten. Yeah, I just put that down. Oh no, all these canned meats are rotten. Really? Dudes, that is very upsetting. And not so bad, but I'm not happy. Oh, also, I updated the game, and now when I hit C, it closes the door without giving me a prompt on what else I want to close. Uh, we're going to need to dump all this rotten stuff. And it looks like we are just dumping it on the ground right now. I suppose I could have that meat soup. It's not warm, so we could heat it back up. Let's just unload all that. Yep, and then I got my glass jars, and this dump, this rotten stuff. Um, I should probably also dump out that large sealed stomach, huh? Where is it? Large sealed stomach of curdling milk. Oh, I can't because it's frozen. I can't dump the liquid out of that. Okay, that's fair enough. And did I see that I still have, like, the Sloppy Joe in my inventory? I do. A little Sloppy Joe and a little meat soup. You know. You know how we do it. I think that's the first time I've had canned meat go off in this game. Something is making noise. Oh, you're, wake ba you're back up. Something is making noise. Okay, I think he must have heard something that I was hearing as well. Uh, I just want to see, as you're still underfed, which makes sense. You have only had like a couple seconds to digest the food. Um, yeah, I think right now we're pretty much good to go, and we could probably go back into the lab. But I might just do some crafting stuff first. Um, I might do. Let's get our survival a little bit higher, right? That's probably a good call. Yeah, I've been... I had kind of a hard day today, so I've been looking forward to playing this for quite a while. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's basically all I had to say around that. <laughs> kind of some stuff where I'm like, I don't know if I should share that out on the YouTubes. Um, no, you can keep on reading until we get to the next section. Okay, yeah, you can go ahead and stop. Go ahead, close that. Now wait a little bit. It looks like we're in the clear, so keep on reading about being a mountain man. Mountain bird man, maybe. Oh no, Louie, you threw up. I gave you all that food, dude. You just threw it all up. <sighs> is this what parenting is going to be like? I think it is. I worked so hard on that, Louie. <laughs> oh man yeah so basically what I'm thinking um, short term goals is go raid that lab longer term goals would be more of um, getting ourselves our medical mutagen uh, which I don't know when that's going to happen and I'm realizing we're draining power I wonder if that's our memory CBM yeah, could I just look at my CBMs? You can turn those off. And you can turn that actually on, because we actually should have some power that we can we can get access to. And it's actually 2 a.m., so maybe we should just sleep. Probably a good call. Um, can I eat anything else? There's some wheat cereal. Why well, I'm hitting one, and then it's like going back up there. 
Oh, was it actually getting eight? Yeah, oh, it was actually getting eight. Why don't I have some canned tuna fish? We are actually pretty thirsty right now, so maybe... Before we go to bed, get some stuff like that. Uh, never mind, hold on. Or hold on, no. That was the wrong button. Okay. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to also try doing a little inventory management in this episode, if you don't mind. I figured if you're still with me at this point, you probably don't mind a little inventory management. Excuse me. Um, that is full. I know there's glass jars all around here. Okay, good. Um, and we'll see from there. What do we need to do? Oh, we we're gonna go. We we're gonna drink, right? Water purifier. And wasn't there like a big thing of water around here? Yes, there is. Cool. I love this water purifier. It's been good to me. Yep, go ahead and just drink that. Oh. Yeah, I don't know why it lets me keep on the menu sometimes and not other times. Kind of confusing to me. Alright, well, I'm going to just take a little break. My, I've got some food here. i got to eat, and I'll be right back. Okay? So I actually um, had our character sleep a little bit, and, uh, you know, we healed up a good amount. I... I am curious if we look here. Yeah, it looks like these are healed up as much as they can. This leg looks like it's healing a little bit. Yeah, these these limbs should be good to go in a little while. Um, it is daytime now. I do think we could do some looting, but I did want to just take a second and look at our options for hand uh, protection for our friend there. Uh, we want to look something I think what we want is like XL Survivor Gloves. Large enough to accommodate normally large mutate, mutated anatomy. I think that that means that we can wear that. I'm not 100% sure on that to be honest. Uh, so... But I think it's worth trying to get these gloves made. We actually have two tactical gloves, so we just need some thread and, like, actually some leather patches. That's going to be something that might be a little bit tricky for us. Let's just look at the hand wraps. What does that say? Won't hinder special attacks involve mutated anatomy. Um, so I want something that won't hinder attacks, so I kind of want a hand wrap, but... Their protection's so bad, it's like 50%, and... Uh... Armored fingerless gloves. Let's just have a look at those for a second. I'm pretty sure their protection's not worth it, but... Yeah, that doesn't even allow for our talons to attack. Hmm. Well... We've got a little bit of a problem now, don't we? Because we've got an issue with um, what he can actually wear on his hands. I mean, we could also just have him not have glo like gloves on at all. But then if he gets hit on the hand, it's going to hurt his arms a real... Like, a whole lot. And this will prevent him from attacking with his hounds, which is kind of a bummer. I think we probably want to go for those because... I don't think we really want to have hands just out in the open, you know? And these protections of these hand wraps is just so bad. Just like not worth it, you know? Um, fingerless gloves won't hinder special attacks involving mutated anatomy. And we could try that. But it doesn't say that it'll accommodate large mutated anatomy. Oh, we have the leather patches. Let's just try it. Let's just see if he'll wear them. Uh, short armor equipped. The uh, I'm not seeing it right now. I guess that means that it's not going to be an option. 
fingerless gloves. Whip. Yeah, doesn't look like it's going to be an option. Tactical gloves. Yeah, that's getting prevented right there. I don't see the fingerless gloves. Yeah, it's not showing up, which is super weird. Can I talk to him and tell him to put this on? I bet it crashes the game. I want you to use this item. Fingerless gloves. Yeah, that's what I thought. They prevent you from wearing them. Hmm. Okay, I think we are going to need then to go with uh, the survivor gloves. Go ahead and just drop these and cut them up. Nope, we didn't get anything. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some leather. Though. So, there should be some around here somewhere. Right? Uh, ba -ba -ba. Nothing there. What is it? Oh, that's all that can be. I was a little bit confused for a second. <clears throat> I think we're gonna find something in here. Leather jacket. That should be pretty good. It is not in the best condition. I'm not seeing any boots or anything. I think that we're okay. Gotta grab those chew candies. I know they're frozen, but it's whatevs. Um, there's actually a two-way radio. I will take that for the antenna, and I'm gonna take the battery from that. I actually don't really need any more batteries, so I don't know why I just did that, to be completely honest. Just like turning into my mother, a hoarder. Um, let's, uh, I feel like I've just said let's see like 20 times, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh, that's actually in our inventory now. Don't want that either. I put that away. Yep. And then, what was I doing? Oh, I was going to wash that thing. Washing kit is actually in that right uh, slot. I had no idea if that was actually going to work out or not. Okay, sure, wash it. And then drop and rip and tear. Very nice. Okay, we got plenty of leather there. We should be able to make the XL gloves. No, it's not enough. I need to go find something else made of leather. Okay. Luckily for us, there somebody ran through here and killed all the zombies. I don't know who would do such a thing. Right? So yeah, I think that also kind of a more long-term goal is I do want to set up a colony and have like Nosh have like a working group of mutants that does his bidding. I think that Nosh would enjoy that. Having his little assembly line to make all of this stuff. Okay, sorry. Um, what was I doing? Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead wash that. Sure. And I think we should have enough leather once we do this. I don't know if we have rags, but we can get that from one of the curtains around here somewhere. That should be fine. Oh, we got a lot of Nomex as well. I don't really feel like picking that up though. Uh, but we will. Oh, look, you can see his wings! How did I not see that? Dude. Louie, you're beautiful. Look at that. Look at that bird man. What's with his eyes? Has he got goggles on? I think I've, I gave him goggles, right? Um, hold on. Need to look at your armor. Yeah, he's got survivor goggles on. I, I remember because he had his beak. And I wanted to keep his beak open. I don't see your talons on your hands though. <laughs> That's a little bit disappointing. I definitely want the woodpecker beak though. Whoa! That all the way zoomed out really messes with me. Actually, yeah, that 
extremely zoomed out. I thought this was always zoomed out, then I did that, and I was like, oh my god. What's happening? Okay, so... That. That's what we usually play with. That's what I'm used to. That's good. Come on in, Louie. Seeing how we're making this for you. I'm gonna drop that and just cut it up. Not worth my time to actually properly make this. Uh, let's go with XL. Not leg warmers, no. Where are the gloves? Um, right here. That looks good. We need a little bit more thread. I thought we had thread. Um, let's go ahead and get our tailoring kit and we'll take some out of that. I think we need a hundred of that. Uh, can I unload and then I'll do a part reload, I think? Uh, let's see, this part reload, uh, 150, nope, I don't want to do all that, it doesn't let you type in a number from what I'm seeing, so we'll do that, and then we still got 100 thread, okay, that should be enough for these gloves, Bell survivor gloves, yep, sounds good. I know it's kind of like we just got these talons on this dude and then I'm like covering them so I feel kind of bad about it. I do want to check out the attack and what it does but we'll do that in a controlled environment. I think in general though we want him to have those gloves on and then we'll take them off. <laughs> I don't know when we've got like a solo zombie. Now what I'm thinking. Just to kind of see what it's like and if it does enough damage then I'll protect it. Or I, I might take the gloves off more. And I love how <laughs> I literally just said take the gloves off for like something in this game. <laughs> like that. Okay. Can I tell you to equip the... Where is it? I don't see it. What if I do it through here? Can I be like, hey, you. Use this item. Thanks, I'll wear that now. There we go. So if I look at you... Yeah, you've got gloves on. Good. I probably... I need to look at the weapons. I could give him a coil gun if he was actually charging power, but if you look at him... If we look at L... His bionic power is not charging up, and I'm not sure why. Uh, and I'm not sure how to scroll down either. <laughs> but you can see that it's empty right there. And I think you are still extremely underfed and extremely thirsty, so I will I will take care of those needs again. Um, we'll do the we'll do like a broth maybe. Um, hold on, no, wrong thing. We actually probably have some food that's like fine to eat just like around here. Let's just grab the pre-packaged food because I mean if somebody's got to eat it we'll give it to the NPC right? Uh, we could give him dehydrated meat. Anything else? The tin can of chicken and dumplings. Yeah we can give that to you. Our crowd, I think we made for ourselves. Uh, no plastic bottles. Give him some peanut butter. Uh, okay. Yeah, use this item. And then M. Apple M. Oh, it's frozen. I see. Uh, capital V. And please don't throw up this time. If I look at you... I don't think you're in pain. I think he threw up last time due to him being in pain. So I think that he should be okay now. Uh, I think we'll kind of continue what we were doing earlier. Developing our survival skill. I mean, I would like to have everything be on lockdown before we dive back into the lab, but... We'll see exactly how that works. 
I think I'm going to leave Louie up here. Just because I don't want him getting shot by a turret. But we do need to, like, show off his skills. I mean, he's got to be really good with a gun, is the thing. Uh, did he drop anything? I'm curious if he's still got all the items that I gave him earlier. God, if you dropped your gun and then I drove it over, I'm going to be so mad. I might have to say, uh, do some debugging. I don't know. Okay, we are actually very hungry ourselves as well. And I don't know if you saw, but our health value is pretty terrible as well. When we woke up, our, <laughs> our health value was pretty much as bad as it gets. I'm just going to, you know, down some peanut butter, though, while I'm talking about how awful my, uh, my diet is. I'm just going to have an entire glass jar of peanut butter. Because, you know, you got to... Gotta get your, uh, I don't know. What do the, the nuts give you? Like, what's the, I can't even think of anything right now. Like, the essential amino acids or anything? I don't know. I have no idea. Let's just have a multivitamin, though, because we are kind of hurting. Um, I think we're looking pretty good. So I think uh, that we're good to go for this episode, and then I'll just... I just want to check really quick his inventory. Uh, and then I'll be done. Just because I want to have you guys see... Where is it? Um, let's trade items. Yeah, I think he's still got his gun on him. It's right there. It's actually really nice scar light. Okay. Alright, I'm happy with that. Sounds good to me. Alright, I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.